In this video, we are going to find an eight digit number that is divisible by 256, and each digit is either one or two. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. To find such a number, I'm going to make use of the divisibility test on powers of two, say two, four, eight, 16, 32, etc. Because the 256 in our problem is actually equal to 2 to the power of 8. So let's see. The first test is easy on whether a number is a multiple of 2. It means it's just whether it's an even number. So the unit digit must be 2. This is obvious. Now for testing whether a number is a multiple of 4, we can only consider the last two digits because I can interpret the number in this way. It's actually this block, the yellow block, multiplied by 100 plus the last two digits. And we know that 100 is already a multiple of 4. So I can rewrite this as the yellow block times 25 times 4 plus the blanks, the, two, the last two digits. So as long as the last two digits, as a two digit number, is a multiple of, is a multiple of 4 then we are good. So to choose either one or two for the tens digit, we have to choose one because 12 is a multiple of four, but 22 is not. Now we can proceed to the hundreds digit. For the hundred digit, because 10 to the power three, is 8 times 125 and in fact because 10 is equal to 2 times 5 so 10 to the nth power any power is equal to 2 to the same power times 5 to the same power so for 10 to the power 3 it's already multiple of 8 and so what remains is just the last three digits so again I can use the green block times a thousand plus the last three digits. So it remains to find whether the hundreds digit is one or two so that the last three digits itself as a three digit number is a multiple of eight. So because one one two is a multiple of eight while two one two is not. So we have the third digit to be one as well. And as we go on, the calculations becomes harder and harder. Now for the thousands digit. So say with a question mark, then we know that the question mark times 10 to the power 3 plus 112 has to be a multiple of 16. Now we need some calculations on this. So a thousand is indeed um, eight more sixteen because nine hundred ninety-two is a multiple is a multiple of sixteen. So we have remained eight. So remain the question mark times eight plus. We in fact we have zero here because one 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 two is seven times sixteen. So we have zero equals zero mod sixteen. So. Apparently, we need the question mark to be 2 because 1 times 8 is not congruent to 0 mod 16. So, for the red question mark, I'll replace by 2. And then we iterate the process. Next, we have a blue question mark here. So, blue question mark times 10 to the power 4 plus 2112 is congruent to 0 mod 32, the next power of 2. 
Now if we divide, divide 10,000 by uh, 32, we will have 16 as a remainder. While for 2112, it's actually uh, 32 times 66. So we zero again. So again, with the blue question mark to be equal to 2. Then we have the orange question mark. Let's do it on the right. Orange question mark times 10 to the power 5 plus 22112 is congruent to 0 mod 64. So question mark times 32 plus for this number, if we divide by 64, then it will be 32 again. Now for this, you have question mark, the orange question mark to be equal to 1. So that 1 times 32 plus 32 is congruent to 0 mod 64. So we have 1 here. And then the green question mark. The green question mark times 10 to the power 6 plus 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2 is congruent to 0 mod 128. So question mark times 64 plus this num the remainder of this num this green number divided by 128. So indeed, um, if we divide it, we have 0 as remainder. So the question the green question mark has to be 2. And finally for the another blue question mark at the left end. The blue question mark times 10 to the power 7 plus 2122112 is congruent to 0 mod 256. So blue question mark times 128 plus the blue number divided by 256. So um, maybe we need some calculations. Let's do a long division. Seventy four over here, and then two, five one two. So we have two two nine one eight and we have one hundred and twenty eight as remainder this time. So we know the last digit. The leftmost digit has to be 1. So now we have this number 1, 2, 1, double 2, double 1, 2. And let's check whether this number is indeed divisible by 256. So divide by 256, we actually have this. One eight eight two seven one seven nine two nine zero oh, one three seven six eight one three three one for five at the top one two eight zero five one two yes so indeed this number is two hundred fifty six times. 47352. So it's really a multiple of 256 and so this number is our answer to this problem.